when tools create lines. Now, um, let's delete some of these because they are in the way. Uh, select, and I'm just going to delete these. and keep some of these lines okay so we could move this so that our lines that we made with the line tools and the rectangle tool is is still visible the next set of tools that we're going to explore is the pen tool the pen tool is a little bit squirrely for people who just are beginning to use this tool and if you click and drag you create a little handle okay and then let go don't touch anything else right now and then click and drag another handle and that starts to create your line work you can just go ahead and use it like a pen tool um, like a line tool as well without making a without making a, any curves or what. So if you click and click, it acts just like the line tool. Okay, so that one's created in there, but let's try using the pen tool to create several lines. So if I said click and click onto a point, click down, if you want it to constrain the, the angles, hit the shift key, click and shift key and find the inference point and close that off okay that created a rectangle just like this one that we created with the rectangle tool to go back and go to the line tool again line segment tool and let's do the same thing so we'll keep this segregated, segregated on this side. So click and drag. And then another line tool. Click, oops, control Z. Deselect that line tool right up to the end point. Click and drag. Another line tool, oops, deselect that first. Go to the anchor point, click and drag, find the inference point. Deselect that and then close that one off. All right, so there we made a rectangle. But note, if you zoom in, the corners are not uh, joined together. If you select this box that we made with the pen tool, it looks like it's all together, right? It's all one object. We could move it as one object. But if we look at the, the rectangle created with the pen tool, oh, I'm sorry, the line tool, line segment tool, it's all separate. Control Z, Control Z. Okay, so the difference in using the pen tool and using the line segment tool is the line segment tool is just that. You're creating single sets of lines. Okay. I'll have to come back to Okay, but there is a fix. So whatever line segments that you have drawn you can always join together. So with the select tool, if we select a corner like so, go to objects, and then go to path, you will have an option called join, or you could, I guess, hit control J. With that, you select it to join these two uh, line segments. This one isn't joined yet, oops, this one isn't joined yet because um, we haven't selected that portion. Okay, so if we want to select everything, we could have selected all of it and then said object, path, join. And then now that would act like the rectangle as well as the rectangle drawn in the 
uh, pen tool.